Okay, so we're going to go over the external and internal anatomy of this very unique group, the chimera. Um, it's only 4% of diversity in chondrichthys, but it's a really unique group with a lot of unique features, somewhat understudied fish. Um, so there is two dorsal fins, an upper and lower caudal fin, um, pelvic fins, some structures in front of the pelvic fins that have spines on them. They may be used in mating. I couldn't find a lot of information about them, but they do have sharp spines on them. You can hear them catching on my gloves. They also have these wing-like pectoral fins, um, but one of the most unique features about their fins is this venomous spine that's anterior to the first dorsal fin here, very large, serrated on the back. Um, they have an electroreceptive snout. On some species, the snout's quite elongated. Um, you can see all these sensory lines that go back into the lateral line that run the length of the body. Um, they have, instead of teeth, they have crushing plates, three of them, for scavenging or crushing prey-like invertebrates. Um, one of their strangest features, though, has to be this mating structure. So you can see it's very spiny. Okay, it's currently retracted, but it can extend. You can see it's catching on my gloves. But this is found only in males, and it's called a tentaculum. So you can see the term here. It's a retractable sexual organ that's found on the forehead of the male chimeras. So a very unique feature on chimeras. They also differ from sharks and rays in that they just have one opening for gills. So they have kind of a soft, fleshy opercula to cover up that, but you can see inside there are gill filaments. Okay, so males also have claspers, but you can see that they are double claspers, which is kind of unique, but they may be double like that because Females also have kind of unique um, features as well, um, but very little information on that. So let's look at the internal anatomy. It's pretty simple. Um, so they still have a really large liver for buoyancy. You can see that it still has three lobes, but it's mostly fused, but it's large. It takes up most of the body cavity. You can see how oily this fish is. So it has a lot of liver um, oils for buoyancy. Here's the pancreas up here. Kidneys, okay, attached to the back. Stomach, spiral valve is in here. And then another unique feature of um, these fishes is that they have both an anal opening and then they also have urogenital pores. And you can see in this fish, it's rather unusual. It looks like it actually has two of them. And so that may match up with, if we go back up to the male fish here, um, this double-headed clasper may be double-headed because for some um, reason in evolution, they evolved to have two urogenital openings, um, again, here. So overall, those are the major features of Chimera. This one's not very large, but they can get up to a meter and a half, and so they can be relatively large fishes, but again, relatively unknown, uh, similar to a lot of other deep sea fishes.